See, judgment is not the popular topic, right? But it's biblical. So, so what we see here is Jesus coming back for the final judgment. And he says he's going to separate the sheep from the goats. Look at John chapter John chapter 10. We're going to look at verses 27 and 28. And, and, and I promise you, when we get to the end of this, this should, this should bless you. But I think for us to move forward together and where God is calling us to, we need to have a sure foundation. And so John chapter 10, verse 27 reads this. My sheep hear my voice and I know them. And they do what? And they follow me. Are you following Jesus? My sheep, my sheep know my voice and they follow me. I give them eternal life and they will never perish and no one will snatch them out of my hand. He says, he says, my sheep, nobody can take them from me. But, but there's something interesting. My sheep, they follow me. They know my voice. Back to Matthew 25. So here we go. Matthew 25, starting at verse 33. And he will place the sheep on his right, but the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, come, you who are blessed of, and, and now I'm going to slow down when I read this, okay? I'm going to slow down because it's so easy to just right, right over it. You, put yourself here. Put yourself in the position. This is the king of all kings. The same king that was seated in glory on his throne where angels holler. This is that guy. And this is what he says. Verse 34. Then the king will say to those on his right, his sheep, come, you who are blessed by my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. And then look at what he says. For I was hungry and you gave me food. I was thirsty and you gave me drink. I was a stranger and you welcomed me. I was naked and you clothed me. I was sick and you visited me. I was in prison and you came to me. Now, I'll finish. Verse 37. Then the righteous will answer him saying, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you? Or thirsty and give you drink? And when did we see you a stranger and welcome you? Or naked and clothe you? And when did we visit you sick or in prison? Or when did we see you sick or in prison and visit you? Verse 40. And the king will answer them. Truly I say to you, as you did it to the least of one of these, my brothers, you did it to me. As we talk about vision for this ministry, for this body of believers, as we begin to talk about, okay, moving out of the building to enter the community, what do we need to do as Jesus followers? Do you guys want to inherit eternal life? See, because right here it doesn't say, oh, you pray the prayer, come on in. Oh, oh, you believed all the right things about me, come on in. It doesn't say that. Instead, look at this, it says, if you clothe me, if you saw me naked and clothed me, if you visited me when I was in jail, if you fed me when I was hungry, all of these things, if you visited me while I was sick, if you gave me, gave me something to drink when I was thirsty, verse 40 again says, and the king will answer them, truly I say to you, as you did it to one of the least of these, my brothers, you did it to me. Okay? So then, the one following Jesus, right, should be doing these things. If 75% of the country was doing these things, 
there would be no need for welfare. There would be no need for prison reform. See, let's continue on because now we get to the unpopular part. Everybody want to think they're a sheep, right? I want to be a sheep. I don't want to be labeled a goat. But here's the thing. Jesus said, yo, that day many will come to me. Lord, Lord, man, we did this in your name. We did that in your name. So people then, and how foolish of me to think that, oh, not my church. Nobody in our ministry will experience this. My job is to bring the warning. 